Hi, I'm Tommy. Welcome to another episode of Photo Tips. Today we're going to cover something that's pretty confusing to a lot of people, and that's exposure. Exposure is pretty simple once you understand it. Um, it's simply the act of light hitting your digital sensor or a piece of film to create your image. It takes a certain amount of light to create a properly exposed image. That can be done either very fast to stop action so to speak or very slow to create uh, you can create special effects like that um, anyway enhancing your creativity in photography is, it's all about understanding exposure so let's take a look at it and see if we can't clear up some questions that people have had about it the there are three components to exposure <laughs> Shutter speed, f-stop, and ASA, which is the film or the sensor sensitivity. You, most of your digital cameras now, you can adjust the ASA, and uh, 100 is a good default value that gives you nice, clean, crisp images. But if you're taking something, you, you know, a sports image, and you need faster shutter speeds, you can crank that up. And we'll go over that some more here in a few minutes. Um, you can play with the the different settings and still get properly exposed images. So ASA 100 at 1 60th of a second and F8 aperture gives you a good exposure. Well, so does ASA 200 at 1 250th of, I'm sorry, 1 125th of a second at F8. You notice the ASA doubled. Well, so did the the shutter speed actually halved these are in one stop increments so ASA 100 is one stop slower than ASA 200 uh, 1 60th of a second is one stop longer than 1 125th of a second and F8 allows one stop more light in than F11 let's take a look at a little chart that gives uh, a broader comparison of the uh, f-stops and uh, shutter speeds that give a, a good exposure. f1.4 at 1,000th of a second gives a good exposure. Well, look all the way at the bottom. f32 at a half of a second does as well. Why do we need to know this? First of all, let's cover what what is an f-stop. Well, f-stop is a setting that your camera makes or you may or you tell the camera which one to use and it's the there's an aperture in your lens and it's basically just a bladed diaphragm that opens and closes and allows a certain amount of light to to hit your sensor well if you use an f1.4 aperture f-stop allows a lot of light in f32 allows very small amount of light that's why it takes a uh, lower shutter speed to, to create a good exposure. Well, why do we care about all this? Let's take a look at a sm an image I took, and uh, actually several images, and I start out at a f2.8 aperture, and I work my way all the way through to f32. When you're looking at the images, note the background, and you'll see in the first image, the flower is in focus but the background is way out of focus and you can tell exactly what your subject matter is well by the time we get to the last one you'll see that the background is in focus as well as the flower that I initially focused on so it makes it difficult to tell what the subject of the photograph is why do we care or how can we even control this let's take a look at the modes on the camera most of your modern cameras have all four of these. Some of them have some extra ones like nighttime and sports mode. and I'm not going to cover those. You can look in your manual about those. But the general ones are program mode and that's where your camera picks your shutter and your aperture or your f-stop for you. This is generally this turns your nice expensive digital SLR if you're using it into a basically a small point-and-shoot camera um, you lose all of your creativity 
the camera is going to pick the shutter and the aperture for you and you have no choice over what is in focus in your depth of field and so forth. Aperture priority, this is the one I use most of the time. I set the aperture of the f-stop value on my camera and the camera will pick um, a shutter speed for me to allow a proper exposure. Now sometimes you may have to adjust the ASA value on your camera that we saw earlier to allow you know good enough values to, to get a good exposure. Check the light meter in your camera as you're doing these and you'll see that you have good exposure. That should be in the manual with your camera and we'll also cover that in greater depth in a, in a future episode. Shutter priority is just the opposite of aperture priority. That's where you set a shutter speed, the camera picks the aperture. Manual mode is the hardcore stuff. You, you set the shutter and the aperture and this is where you can be the most creative you need to learn how to read the light meter before you can use this effectively. It's not for the faint of heart, but if you learn this, it'll make you a 10 times better photographer than relying on the camera to do the work for you. Um, what are the advantages of each? Program mode is simple to use. Aperture priority is good for portraits or macro because you can choose the depth of field Shutter priority is good for sports, and manual is, like we said before, that's the hardcore stuff. Um, check it out and play with it, and uh, you'll be a much better photographer if you choose that route. Well, hopefully that cleared up some questions for you. Um, put, take your camera off pro, uh, program mode, put it on aperture or shutter priority, or if you're real brave, put it on manual mode and learn to read your light meter and have a lot of fun. Um, if you have any questions, email me at tmartin at amateurlogic.tv and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Also, if you have anything that you would like to see covered on Photo Tips in the future episode, email me at the same address, tmartin at amateurlogic.tv and I'll do my best to get it covered for you in an upcoming episode. Thanks for watching.